All right, all right. This will be my last video for tonight, or Saturday, I should say, this weekend. So, um, currently, I think right now, I'm not even going to watch the game. Because um, I'd rather be laying in my bed comfortably, watching TV in there, so I try to go to the living room and watch um, that game. Because I got the ESPN app on my smart TV. In the living room, I don't feel like sitting in the living room right now. On this TV, I do not have that. I guess I could download it. But, eh. 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 Anyways. Um, I do find it strange. With all these little hints out here. Because wasn't it Stephen A. Smith the other day talking about uh, LeBron James being traded to the Knicks. Or the Knicks should go try to get LeBron James. Um. And then uh, Rich Paul came out and said that um, LeBron's not being traded. He's not going anywhere, which is kind of, kind of, you know what? I was going to say this. Yeah, I never heard of an agent saying that. Um, most times, 99.9% 90, .9 of the time, agents don't have that power to do that. If a team wants to trade you, they can trade you. They don't want you. That's what I thought. And then I read somewhere that um, Rich Paul met with the Knicks CEO. I forgot the name of the guy, the CEO. I guess he met with him yesterday um, somewhere in New York City. And I, I didn't know this. Maybe I did know this. I didn't pay attention to it too, too much. Uh, but uh, Clutch Sports had some type of Cold War with the New York Knicks. Um, they didn't want to send, Clutch Sports didn't, um, didn't want to send any of their clients to new, to the New York Knicks. Now I guess that's over after a sit down between the Knicks CEO, CEO and Rich Paul, which is kind of strange to me all of a sudden. Now there's no more Cold War between Clutch Sports and um, the Knicks, New York Knicks. And I think it, that... Cold War stems from something with, um, oh boy, Niall, uh, Noel, the center that used to play there. There was some type of contractual issue going on. I forgot the whole entire story, but you had that going on not too long ago, a couple of years ago. But I just find it funny. Around the same weekend when the Lakers are playing the Knicks in New York, that um, Rich Paul meets with the Nick CEO. Maybe I could be looking into it a little bit too much. Uh, maybe in the future, clutch clients of not Le named LeBron James will be going to the uh, New York Knicks. Who knows? There's weird hints out there. I guess somebody posted on Twitter a picture with Jalen Brunson and LeBron James back in 2006 at the All-Star game, I think it was. Um, just little hits around there. And now LeBron James uh, seems uh, very tight-lipped on where he's going next year. Who knows what happens. Um, but this is just, to me, and maybe to some others, this is just a... Uh, another way for LeBron James to control the narrative, as he's always done for the last 12, 50, 60, 70, 18. Well, I don't want to say ever since he went to Miami, he always tries to control the narrative in the media, tries to put this out there, put that out there. We all know his games and tricks by now. But um, it's going to be interesting to see what happens at the offseason. Off season, I don't think he's gonna be traded by the trade deadline, and the Knicks really don't need him at all. Actually, the Knicks don't need any clutch sports clients on their team. They got the team they want, the team they need. Um, and I don't think realistically, twenty eight other teams don't want him either. Not even in the piss poor teams like the Detroit Pistons or Washington Wizards. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see what happens around the trade down line because now there's rumors of Chris Paul getting traded. Um, I know the Bucks are trying to do something real quick, 
So, who knows? But LeBron ain't slick. We know what you're trying to do. We know what you're trying to do, boy. We know what you're trying to do.